Skinny girls weak, the models don't compare Junk in the trunk, looking like two pairs Woo, got me hotter than a sauna Ass so fat, make me wanna thank your mama Ass so fat, I think I need a lap dance Ass so fat, about to pop out of them pants Hey guys, what's up, what's up? We back with another video, another recipe with my sister. This is my sister Michelle. Hi. You guys love, I keep looking up. My bad, y'all. <laughs> you guys love that last video that we did of the rice. Now we're doing another recipe of Puerto Rican style picadillo and rice. White rice. White what rice. Picadillo. Say it, Michelle. Picadillo. Say it. No. Say picadillo. It's picadillo. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're about to make some picadillo and ripe white rice. Picadillo is pretty much like the stuff that's inside of like a beef empanada, but it has a little bit more juice in it, and it's on top of white rice. It's not like in the shell like empanada, but pastelillos. Yeah, well, pastelillos empanada is the same thing, pretty much. Anyway, we're about to. Show you guys how you make it. But uh, this is my sister's recipe. It's not my recipe. I get it from Sweets and Beyond. Oh, she I use her recipe. And she also has a recipe for the arroz con gandules that you were asking about as well. Okay, so you guys, the recipe that my sister got her like adaptation of, because of course everybody makes it their own. I'm gonna link the recipe that she used. Um, I'm going to link Sweets and Beyond. Uh, Sweets and Beyond. Link in the description box uh, of that recipe. But uh, uh, let's get started on uh, this video. Now look at what we have. We have our mise en place in place. Let's see what we're using. So here we have some ground beef. That's two pounds. Two pounds of ground beef. See, she measures. See, I'm going to love her. She needs to start a channel. Because I don't measure. We have the alcaparrado. <laughs> which is the olives, the pimentos, and the capers. We have some adobo, some oregano, cumin, the ham seasoning. Oh, Ron, you can't eat this pork. Uh, is there real pork in here? Can Ronnie eat this? You can't pork them in. There's real pork in there. Okay, so it has the ham seasoning, which is like a ham bouillon cube, a packet of sazon, a can of tomatoes, some sofrito. I'm only using eight ounces. She's gonna use eight ounces of this. They can hear you because when I edited the last video, it was like I was saying everything twice. Sofrito. Uh huh. Garlic, minced garlic, and of course, like I was telling you, my fresh cilantro, freshly washed and in the bag, ready for the freezer. Fresh cilantro. So that's what we're using. You guys seen everything? I'll pan over it all again. There you go. Salt, MSG, artificial ham flavor, not real ham, and hydrolyzed vegetable protein. It'll taste like ham. So we're gonna make the meat mixture in here. We got the rice. I mean, the water going for the rice. And yeah, we are gonna get this popping. She's over there drinking a the smoothie. Why you didn't buy me a smoothie? Cause it was on the blind and we was closing. It's we no. Excuse. No, but I bought you something else. What you bought me? What? The oh. Potato. Potato. This is okay. Potato. Okay. Look, she, you, y'all up on this? Y'all up on the? Move, Lily. You can't be in my shot of alcohol. Back up. Look at the tropical passion fruit Moscato. That's Costco. what you got me from Costco. I bought four. Fuera. One is yours. Fuera. Thank you. Fuera. Fuera. I still want a smoothie though. Dang, she didn't even call me and say she was getting a smoothie. No, because you were too busy doing your eyebrows and you didn't want to come with me. Oh, she put me on blast. Yes, I did. Oh, she put me on blast. <laughs> come on, come on. Shoot, 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 doggy, shoot. See this? This is why she has no smoothie. And you have to get in the while. Because she has to look pretty for you guys. I don't look as beautiful as she does without makeup. Ah. Look at that face. Look at that skin. I don't have that. Look at that. You mean the bags me. from kids? She's beautiful. <laughs> I don't have all that. I Last time they was like, where's Ronnie? Ronnie's here today. Hey, babe. 
What's good? It's your boy Jay. Holla at me. Oh my gosh. Really, nigga? Ronnie's, oh my gosh. Ronnie's here today. He wasn't here last time because we was having girls' time. Ronnie's here today. But he made sure he was here this time. Yeah, he gonna get some of this. <laughs> Alright, so the water's about to boil for the rice. Show them. Some people don't know how to make perfect Spanish style white rice. Do you want to show them how you do your rice or no? How much water is in here? I don't measure water. Oh, see, she don't measure water. We already going all wrong. So, eh, maybe not. <laughs> because people are like, please write the exact measurements in the description box. No, we don't. She measures. I don't measure. I only measure the meat. Get down and get your leak along, girl. Oh, <laughs> What? <laughs> I don't know how much water is in here. So I... Because I just put it to put water in because when it boils... Some of the water evaporates anyway. Well, and you're yeah. going to measure it and make sure the water's correct portion. So, yeah. the correct ratio of water to rice. So, it's always easy to take out water. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> and fun fact my sister likes the Carolina rice. She doesn't always use the canilla. No, I got the canilla outside. I just had this, which they had last time. They but the rice. recipe works good with both, not just exactly. canilla. Yeah, where the hell did he put my other new bag of rice? All right, y'all. Once we start making the beef, I'll be back. What do you want to show them? You want to show them? But you don't know how much water is in there. It doesn't matter. Alright, go ahead. How you do the rice? Well, I'm just adding the rice first. Alright. I don't know how much water is in there. She going to measure that rice, though. I got to make if sure you, I you don't, enough but enough wait, rice. Wait, you don't do the two to one ratio for water to rice? I make sure I have enough rice per person. Because I'm going to right. cut per person. Alright, alright, alright. 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 Alright, Chudos? You in chudos, mommy? Okay, so one cup of rice just went in. Don't mind the sink, y'all. We was just washing cilantro in there. Two. Two cups of rice. That's to show you we clean. I guess I wash my hands. Oh, well, yeah. Hold on, Ashley. What? I don't want to elbow you in the chest. No, nah, you good. Three mm -hmm. cups of rice. See, I need my other rice. I'm running out of rice. What? Didn't you buy the... um? Yeah, I don't know where he put it. Four. Four cups of rice. Oh. For real? I was just thinking that in my head to count. <laughs> Yo. Five. I think that's one more cup. That makes six. Alright, so six cups of rice. It was six cups of rice last time when we did I the, know, and how much rice did we have left over? We have rice left over. Yeah, but not as much. And yellow nah. rice gives you more rice than white rice. Anyway, that's six cups oh, of rice. She's going to, of course, wash it now. Wait, yet, wait. wait, let me wash these dishes real quick. Hold on, I'll be back, y'all. Water's boiling. Yeah, they hear you. Water's boiling. Let's just add some salt. How much salt do you think that is? About two tablespoons or a tablespoon and a half? Not two tablespoons. Two tablespoons? Mm hmm. Um, but again, I maybe don't like measure. two teaspoons. Was you doing heavy? You know what? I wasn't doing salt heavy. Salt to heavy. taste. Taste your water. Your water is supposed to taste like exactly. seawater. Your, your water is supposed to taste like the sea. You're supposed to taste your water anyway. So, I had to wash the dishes, y'all. So, we're going to wash the rice with cold water until it runs clean. Not, you want to do it with cold water because the um, warm water activates and agitates the, um, the starch in the rice. So if you wash your water, your rice with warm water, you're gonna be washing it forever because you're um, activating the starch. Very good tip, Ashley. Thank you. So yeah. And yeah. plus, when you straight out the rice, the rice falls out anyway. Yeah. That's why you put extra. Yeah. So you just keep washing your rice until it goes, it runs clear. Okay, I'm about to say, don't get a shot of my underarm. No, 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 no. No, I'm shooting down. I got you. If nobody don't got you, I got you, boo. All right, puff. Rice going in. Slide it in gently. I'm not really hungry. You're not really hungry? Because you just ate a plate. A spaghetti. A spaghetti. So you don't have to sit there and eat that whole churro. She's eating it anyway. No. Moderation. You can stop. You don't have to eat that. You can save some for later. The kids already couldn't wait for the food. The kids done already ate a whole plate of spaghetti. 
that I made. Oh, you guys, I showed you guys how I make my spaghetti. I put a link to my spaghetti recipe right here. Click on the link and uh, the card and look at my recipe for my spaghetti. I made that for the family yesterday. Well, the day before yesterday. The day before. The day before yesterday. There's still some left. They still eating it. That's how you know it's good. I poured some oil. Poured how some much oil? oil? About a tablespoon of oil? Not. My stone's in the way. I go around two times. but She says she drizzles around the pot twice. That's it. Oil. What kind of oil is that? Well, this one's canola oil. Canola oil. I got a tabletop tripod, y'all. Yeah. But guess what? It's home. <laughs> <laughs> it's home. I can't. My bad. Because <laughs> people be like, why you can't put the camera on the tripod? Why you don't buy a tripod? I have everything, y'all. I just don't use it. You want to taste how salty the water is? Mm -hmm. When you do white rice, you don't really want to add seasoning at the end. You want to season the water and let the white rice absorb it. Hold on, it. my hand got like rice and bag in it. When you do white rice, you want to season the water because you don't really want to add seasoning to the end because it's not in it. So, okay. you try to make the water taste like how you want your rice to taste. But you just make it a little extra. A little bit and more salt? A little bit more. Okay. Not because it wasn't salty. Okay. It's just like water with a hint of salt. Okay. Do your thing, boo. This is your show. This is your world. I'm Less in it. This is more. Auntie Ashley, why are you sharpening my pencil? I will sharpen your pencil. Go find me the sharpener, babe. I don't know where it is. That's because you broke it. Where's the sharp? I have a sharpener in my makeup bag. Hold on. Wait for me to finish. Oh. Wait. Do not touch my makeup. Wait for me to finish. I got my eye on you, little girl. Now it tastes like a little briny. And this. I know, honey. And this. I know, baby. Ashley, ta -da! Hey, hey, perfect water and perfect rice. Do it again. You see it stood up? That means the level's perfect. They saw it. All right. So. Now I'll just let it boil you go, down. Now you got to let the water absorb some. Then you put the top on. So I'll be back. You guys, so we have the ground beef in the pot now. We didn't add anything to the what? nothing. We just put it in the pot. We got the white rice absorbing. Once some of the water comes out, we're going to turn it down super low and put the top on. But, we got the ground beef in the pot. I know it looks bare, but bear with us. You have to add the seasonings after. I mean, we, I just said we didn't put nothing in there. Stop being so self-conscious. Not self-conscious. I'm just telling them it, it looks bare, but it, we will be adding stuff to it. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, girl. I'm just saying. Okay, you guys. So, we just put a teaspoon of the adobo in here. I didn't put it on camera, I'm sorry, but I was on the phone. My sister's on the phone, important. Fun fact, my sister is a nurse. And, uh, yeah, she's working. She had to take care of some serious business real quick. So, uh, yeah, we just put a teaspoon of a Zobo. Go ahead and work that meat, girl. <laughs> work that meat, girl. More Zobo? Just a little bit. What temperature you got the fire? Oh, she got the fire on. Well, I put it up Hell high. No, I put it up high because I had to How the rice is looking. Her. She stirred the rice. Ooh, look at that rice. Yo, fun fact, I'm a rice lover. I like rice more than mac and cheese. Sue me. Sue me. But I do. That's the Haitian in you. The Haitian in me? <laughs> yeah. I like rice more than mac and cheese. Like, my comfort food is not uh, macaroni and cheese and fried chicken. I like baked chicken or, like, steak and rice. Steak is good. Oh, this is the only thing I like. I like, like, sauce. Like, meat. Any meat with, like, a sauce on top of rice is, like, my favorite. Oh, so you like my boiled yourself. Yeah. I don't make bomb stew chicken. I need to do a video for y'all. Y'all remind me to do my stew chicken recipe. It's banging. Trini style stew chicken. I learned from my best friend. You gotta keep cutting it up. You gotta keep breaking down that meat. Keep working that meat. Work that meat, girl. Work that meat. Hey, hey. <laughs> you gotta keep like breaking the meat down. It's supposed to be like like real broken down. I just have it on high because I want to bring it up to. Heat up the pan since I had it off. 
I didn't want me to burn while I was on the phone. Bring, hey, who are you? We're not talking to you. You're supposed to be drawing, boo. What are we doing? Draw. You're supposed to be over there drawing. Not over here in this conversation. Because she knows you. You? Right there. You. I see you. You right there. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. You are in the video. Say hi. I don't like that in too many videos. You're kicking me out. Excuse you. Anyway, back to this meat. Well, I'm just going to keep stirring it so it's brown. So, Only thing you're going to add right now is the dough, but when are you going to add the other seasonings? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. It's your recipe, boo. It's your world. I'm just in there. Right now, she just add the adobo. We don't know when she's going to add the other ingredients. We it. shall see whenever she get ready. Gotta let it keep browning. So y'all do what she does. It's light. Oh, oh, another thing. In her picadillo, she doesn't chop up a potato in it. You can put potatoes if you want to. I don't put potatoes. I chop up a potato real small and I put potato. I make picadillo too for my empanadas. Potato pop. I've chopped up a potato and put it in mine. Why don't you? Like Alright, well, she don't. If you add, want to. If you want to add it. If you were to add a potato, you'd add a potato, like, to this point right in here. Where you have the, like, liquid in it before you drain some off. You put the potato in right now. And let it absorb some of this, like, meat juice. If you were to add a potato. I put a potato in mine. She does not in hers. But if you do, add it now when you have the liquid in the pan. Like just keep booty break, booty break, hey, 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 booty, pop your butt, pop it, pop it, pop, 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 hey, pop. hey, 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 <laughs> no. I can't with you, I'm the crazy, they said I'm the crazy sister, you just put up with my craziness, I'm the serious older sister, I'm not the youngest one either, we have two sisters younger than us, we got and some her. girl, uh, Suck it in. Brianna next time. Uh, Brianna, Brianna's live too. Brianna gets late. She's more fun than you. I don't care. All right. It browned a little bit more. I had to take another phone call. Yeah. Sorry for the gap. In My time. sister is an on-call nurse. All right. So you see the liquid absorbed. We didn't drain it. We absorbed it. So we're using here the ham. Bouillon cube powder. That better not be my phone, please. No. Okay. Every time I get started, here come my phone. Because she's on call. But we're going to get this recipe going. See? My family is talented in different ways. You could cook and you could save a life. You could cook and save a life. That was just one packet. Mm hmm Because one packet per two pounds of beef. Mm hmm That's why. I one did. packet per two pounds of beef. If I would have used four pounds of beef, then I would have put in two I'm sorry I'm double uh, saying what she says. Because when I edited the last video, it was like, uh, I can hear you good. <laughs> I'm just loud. I'm the loud one. You know what I mean? So that's the minced garlic. That's like a teaspoon of minced garlic. Like two teaspoons? That looks more like one. Oh, I put it together. I squished it together. Mm. I put one on top of the other. That's two teaspoons of minced garlic. If you saw Monty hash me for a ball like you, you don't do it after. I was stuck. You turn the rice off? No, the rice has to fit. It's not done. Lord, you're dropping this stove. Sorry. No, it's not Condensation. I gotta clean the stove. All the splatter from the meat. Yeah. See, I turned up the meat. <laughs> She's like, Man. It still has a little bit of liquid. Yeah. You guys, so don't let it all absorb. Put the ham before it um, almost ham absorbs first. all the way. Ham, the ham seasoning first. You stir it in, make sure it gets absorbed. Then you add the garlic, stir it up, make sure that gets absorbed. Absorb. Then we'll do three tablespoons of sofrito, which is basically all that I have left. Three <laughs> tablespoons of sofrito. If you guys want my sister to uh, do her sofrito recipe, leave a comment below. If you want to see my sister's famous sofrito, that's the one I use too in my recipes. When you guys, when you guys see me use this, it's her. She makes me some. Yeah. But I need some more. I need to make some more. I need some more sofrito. At least three jars. 
I don't make that much. I will help buy the stuff. Money. If you let me know, I'll buy some of the stuff. No, I just like doing small batches. Ronnie over there being super uncle playing with the kids. They love. Ronnie love the kids. Ronnie love the kids. <laughs> that looks so good right there. That looks. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. You smell the sofrito. You smell the garlic. I smell the garlic. Yes, but it's I know you bomb. love garlic. You put a little bit too much. You love your garlic like you love pepper too much. I love pepper and I love garlic. I gotta be elbowing you every time you have that pepper shaker in your hand. I love garlic yeah. and I love pepper. I love pepper. I was about to get that big thing of pepper and um BJ BJ's yesterday. I might go back and get it. Mm -hmm. well, I saw you have some of them before if they have free entrance. Yeah. I don't even have a BJ's membership because you know I, I go to Jetro Restaurant Depot for work. Um, and so I'm give it some color because it's looking kind of pale and we like color in this family yeah we like a lot of color in this family our multicultural family one more Purple turtles after that. Me too. When I was sharpening her pencils, I was like, oh my gosh. Like, all this white. She, yo, she literally gave me the whole big thing to sharpen because each and every one. She takes it. Well, she be writing on the. Yo. By the time I was in the middle of, and like halfway with that big old box of uh, colored pencil, my hand was cramping. I'm like, what the hell? Go. And this is my main, my dominant hand, so. Yeah, I yeah, man, my hand was cramping, sharpening all them what? damn pencils. Stop screaming! One more. Yo, I, I put braids in Bella's hair. She looked like uh uh. She like Felicia. She like Felicia <laughs> from Friday. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. I put box braids in her hair. Go ahead and mix that thing in, girl. Work that meat. I'm trying to work it. My arm is hurting. My freaking hand was hurting. All right. I see. We're so much similar. Uh, now what? Uh, strong. Right now, I'm just gonna let it. Two, three more chances. Hmm? Hmm. There I'm pouring this. Hmm. Can't taste it. You taste like you got the taste of bugles in your mouth. I let the water. Well, you see how all the water came out? You can hear the meat frying now? Well, yeah. That's what you want. I had to stop again. Now she's adding some cumin. Cumin? Teaspoon. A teaspoon of cumin. I think I forgot it. Some cumin? Cumano. Mix it up. Oh, it's not. It's cumino. Is that A or O or I? Comino. 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 Morillo. Morillo. What's that? What? Where did she get that from? Oh, that's this. Yeah. Is that Dolce and Gabbana? It's no. Like you. A teaspoon of oregano. <laughs> Hold on. A teaspoon of oregano. This come out. This is that. Taste it. I smell it. That smells good. Can I have this? It smells like you. I have so much different. I have that. This is that's the a little, that's the spritz for them. They like to go when we go to Perky Mania. They always go straight to that. I like, like that. Put that on the table so I can smell it. I got the original one. That's what I had the other day. You guys, I got my Sephora box. And inside they got the new YSL Mon Paris. The new one, that thing smells good. It smell my hand. I smell too. I said it smelled good. Now watch That get? thing smells good. This is the Alcaparado. How much is that? Well, wow. just that much. I put how much I would put. You put how much you like. If you like a lot of olives and capers and stuff, you put more. She, I like more. Wow. I could put more on my plate. You could put more on my plate. And you could add the sauce too. Mm hmm When I do mine, I put more than that. But a little bit more. And I put a little bit of the liquid. And also, what's different about when I make mine, I put recao in it too. Recaito. Recaito. Yeah, I put the recaito in mine too. Taste? Yeah, make sure I have no season. Is that thing good, girl? Is that thing good? Is that thing good, girl? Okay. You want to taste? No. <laughs> I want to taste it when it's finished. Yeah, you want to taste it. 
She's gonna put half the can of sauce. Well, how many ounces is that one? This is like a 15 or 16 ounce can. You need eight ounces. Yeah, that's a 16 ounce can. She's using eight. Turn this down. Now you turn that down all or like a practically almost off. Well, yeah, because now what you do is okay. now you add water. You now you add sauce. water and then you simmer and that's how you make the sauce. You're gonna add water and you're gonna simmer it on low. Mm. Mm. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be so good. I can't wait. My sister cooks good. Ah! We both cook. Hey, why y'all over there fight? My sister. Yeah, she got the scully beanie on. What's going on here? Yo, all right. Oh, hold on, y'all. She didn't add some water. How much water do you put in there? She put like a, a cup. It's about 16 ounces. She put a cup of water in so far. That's a cup and a half. A cup is eight ounces. I know, 16 ounces. So she put two cups of water in here. Two cups of water. Because you want it saucy. You got to make the sauce. Sauce. You got to make the sauce. And when I do mine, I put more than one um on. I put like two. Sometimes three. My sauce on the inside be like orange and yellow. Yeah. That's how I do it. How but that looks it. good. Hers is good too. You put more water? Just a little bit more because it's going to cook down because you're going to let it cook yeah. for about 20 minutes. So she's putting some more water. That's about another uh, quarter cup of water. So right now that's two and a quarter cups of water. Yeah, that's it. You turn the fire down super low. You see how it like barely looks like it's on? It's practically off. And then again, we're going to let this simmer on low for like 20 minutes. And then it shall be ready. See ya. I be knowing what I be talking about. What she doing right there? You put some more sauce on, girl? Because I want more color. Uh-huh, because you need more color, right? When I do mine, I put like three in there. See, she had to add another one because it didn't have enough color in it. Sit your ass there. I'm cooking. You go sit down and wait for the plate to be done. Really, nigga? <laughs> so now she's adding some fresh cilantro. And me too, just like me, she uses stems too. I chop up the whole cilantro. I use everything. I use the, the flour the, and the stem. So she just uh, put some fresh cilantro in there. Yeah, I missed that part. I'm We're like, going to go ahead and uh, simmer this down with the cilantro. Yeah, because that gives it depth and flavor. That's sabor. Yes. Tu sabes sabor? Oh my God. See? You no know flavor? See? Huh? No. You don't say nada de eso. Si. Thank you. Nada. We're gonna let this simmer down some. Hold on. Oh, let me flip the camera. Hold on, y'all. Oh, Lord. Because they want to see what we're cooking. Well, let me stir it up first because you got a little bit of grease. There you go. You guys, I'm on live too. I'm on live with you guys. Say hey, can you see your names? I'm on live with you guys too. And I'm filming this recipe. And it smells so good. All right. Behind door the reveal. Door. So that's the perfect white. Spanish style white rice. If you know white rice with the Spanish people, you know that right white be banging. So that's the rice. Thank you, tequila. Now let's show the picadillo. Bup, bup. Hey, that looks so good. Look, y'all. I just did a video showing you guys how to make it. I don't know what to do with Thank you, Antoinette. Yeah, Picadillo. We just showed you the whole recipe of how to make it. Yeah, I'm filming. Al so you, that recipe of, and it has the alcaparrados in it. It's gonna be good, y'all. It's ready. It's hot over here. The oven on too? No, you over there hitting the Jeez. flame. Jeez, it's ready. But anyway, y'all, look at the finished product, you guys. Doesn't it look so good? Mmm. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm filming at the same time. I'm getting this video out for y'all. You guys, so here is the picadillo. Omg, it looks so good. I was just on live with you guys. If you was on live with me, you seen it first, but. Yo, look at that. Hmm. So good.
you guys so you guys seen the recipe and now of course we have to try it so let's try it you guys when you start you gotta use a spoon i don't know why but you gotta use a spoon you got a spoon too michelle she got a spoon too i don't know why but you gotta eat this with a spoon look at that you get some fries get some of the picadillo yum 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 oh, yum I don't know why you guys like all the stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now wake up. Okay. That's time you want to do it. Oh, why don't you eat this with a spoon? Mom. Thank you. Because you've done nothing but drink. You guys, I like more olives, so I'm going to put some more olives on mine. Nasty. Really? Chris doesn't like olives. Olives are the worst. They're so good. Goodbye. Mm-hmm. Is it good, baby? Good, right? See? Say, say, say. I like that. Mm. Mommy tried something new today. <laughs> mm-hmm. Isn't that good? Mm. Okay, baby. Can you have that? I'll make me another plate. Mm. Okay, you guys. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm about to grub, y'all. Actually, Ronnie's taking this plate. I gotta go make me another plate. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go make me a plate now. But uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to do you, boo. Bye, guys. And I have one more. I said bye. More videos. More recipes. But y'all should just start a channel. You should just start a channel. Yeah. Start a channel. <laughs> Hashtag Michelle start a uh, YouTube channel. No, I'll I'll do with her. Hashtag Michelle start a YouTube channel. No. <laughs> All right, bye y'all. Don't forget the recipe that the sweets and beyond is where I got this recipe no. from. She will be added it to the no. description no. box. No. Description no. box. All right, y'all. The recipe for the original recipe it will be in the description box below. Bars is different, but you guys could watch the original and see the you know the different changes we made. But uh, yeah, I'll see y'all. Bye. You know I got that egg right. That be home at three. That put you straight to sleep. Is that right?